Hi chaps, Simo P here from Beard, Biceps and Bat Chat, of course the Bat Chat. Today's video should be a fairly quick one and it's going to be on the new earn up we have and some of the bundles that we've got. So this month is a very, very hectic month. We have five or is it six? Five, I'm going to go with five new console tanks that are being released. So these are tanks that have never been released on console before. All released this month so it is going to be a very very busy month for reviews hopefully I'm going to try and get all the reviews out this week so prepare to be absolutely bombarded with uh, tank reviews now there's a reason why I want to do them quite quickly and the reason is Wargaming have obviously been listening to the community um, on feedback on pricing of premium tanks and these tanks are in really, really good bundles and very, very competitively priced. So to give you an idea, we've got the Tier 8 bundle um, with the Scorpion G that's just been released for console, the Mutts that's just been released for the console, and the Ripper Pattern, all Tier 8 premium tanks. Now, the previous trend we've been seeing is tanks like these would normally go from anywhere from 12 to 16,000 gold. They've got a bundle on the store currently where you can buy all three for 24,500 gold, essentially 8,000 gold per premium. This is what we've been used to previously. That's roughly what you see in the tech tree to buy tier 8 uh, premium tanks from the tech tree. So I'm really, really pleased we've gone back to... Um, ops that what ops I say uh, that we've gone back to bundles that make a lot of sense now that bundle in particular the only thing you get with it is the tank hundred crew and the garage slot so there's no premium time no ASOPs or maybe there is ASOPs but they've pretty much taken away all the sort of filler stuff that they would normally charge crazy gold for and now you're paying 8,000 gold for a tank with cool camo that's you know is not been before on console so really really applaud wargame for taking the stance um this is probably the month where you're going to see me uh, splurge a little bit hopefully you guys think there's value in these bundles as well but let's move back on to the earn up so we've got a really really good earn up again we've seen this style before so running from the 1st of august to the 28th of august we have the beast of prey you guys will all be familiar with this essentially Five points for top EXP and on your team, three points for the top two to three place, and one point for placing fourth or filth. Filth? Filth? Fifth. Now, it's worth pointing out all the ops are repeatable. So, this is really, really similar to what we've done before with Wargaming. Really like this style of op. Um, one little thing is you can get more points if you pick up one of the beast tanks purchased in the beast of prey bundles or the beast of war um, So you'll get an extra point So the drops are again similar sort of times two XP boost for 15 points But I'll go to the meaty stuff you guys are really going to be interested in So for 500 points you get to pick up seven days of premium the AC4 experimental for 650 points you get the Cromwell B and that's the one I'll be going for beautiful tank if I don't get it on the up that's one I'll be purchasing been waiting for this tank for a long time we've also got for 824 25 25 points what is wrong with my speaking say it's not great we've got the Chieftain T95 tier 8 premium tank and for a thousand points you get the M4A1 Revolutionaries? I don't know. Revelores? Revelores. That's what I'm going to call it. Correct me in the comment section below. So, a lot of the newly released tanks, or three of them at least, the Cromwell B, the Chieftain T95, and the M4A1, you don't even need to buy. You can earn those just through playing the game. So, again, really, really good. It's nice to see you can get unique tanks. Last time we had this, I think, was Dream Machine, where you could get the Lycan, Ripper, Locust and well, one other that I forget so I know you guys will enjoy that um, obviously the tanks you can't get in this op are the Scorpion G, the Mutts and the uh, Ripper Pattern or the KR Pattern, Pattern KR uh, but again they're really really affordable I know a couple of people have uh, purchased them already the rest of this week will be focused on doing tank reviews, those newly released tanks, and just pumping those out as quickly as possible for you guys to have a look at, see if it's something that uh, you're interested in buying. 
I'd be very interested to hear, guys, what you think about Wargaming's new pricing. Hopefully, it's what we've all been waiting for. Let me know in the comments section below. Let me know what tanks you're going for in the urn up. And I'm sure I'll have another video up probably tomorrow. Please like and subscribe, and I will catch you next time, chaps.